Granby, Colorado. A madman on a vengeful rampage is out to destroy the entire town. They're reporting that there is an out-of-control bulldozer and it's destroying the building at Mountain Park Concrete. The word traveled quite quickly that there was a bulldozer running through town, bulldozing down buildings. They can't tell who's driving it, but there is someone inside. Incredible as it may sound, Marvin Hemeyer spent months fortifying his bulldozer in a cocoon of steel. Now hidden safely inside, he's unleashing retribution on the whole community after a simple property dispute. It was a nearly impenetrable fortress that he built upon the bulldozer. Hemeyer steers his rolling stronghold through the corner of a building. He demolishes the structure's perimeter, leaving a pile of shattered rubble. Officers open up with a barrage of gunfire. The bullets do nothing. Hemeyer wheels around and takes out a row of cars. Then, without warning, reveals some firepower of his own. It turns out he's equipped his homemade tank with fully loaded machine guns. Authorities try rolling in some heavy metal of their own to stop the deadly behemoth. But within seconds, the blockade vehicle has been hammered into submission. Cops realize they're powerless to stop the renegade. Instead, they're reduced to escorts, clearing out townspeople in his path. The city is Hemeyer's for the trashing. It was an atmosphere of fear, chaos, and mayhem. He methodically destroys the town for an hour and a half. Even trees become collateral damage as he maneuvers the crushing wrecker along back roads. But then, when he targets a warehouse, his rig gets stuck. Its right track fell into a partial basement in the back of the building. And the bulldozer became stranded at that location. Police take up positions around the silent beast, fearing Hemeyer could spray them with artillery. But he fires only one shot to take his own life. The aftermath of his quest for vengeance is a landscape of rubble and loss. And although it's hard to imagine, the outcome could have been even worse. Had the bulldozer not failed, this incident likely would have been even more significant than it was. It's only by the grace of God that no one was killed.